Heading out for day two fossil hunting. Now, if you're not the lead vehicle, this is the view you got. Dust. So today we're hunting in an area we call the Waves. It's just our name for it, not an official name for this area. It's very wavy, as you can see. And um, we've all found big stuff here before. This is a good producing area. A lot of ground to cover though. A lot of ground. I'm sure we'll be here all day. So not too far in, only been here a few minutes, and what we found here is, we call it an exploded tortoise. So what happened here was one of these large tortoises has started eroding out of the matrix, but it's been eroding out for a little too long. It's all in pieces. The freeze-thaw cycles and the uh, wet and dry cycles that make the, the bentonite clay expand and contract have just destroyed the fossil over time. So... Uh, yeah, there's no point in trying to collect this. We'd found it a few seasons ago when it was just starting to erode out. It would have been worth collecting, but too far gone now. So got to keep looking for something else. Okay, been out here for a couple of hours now. Haven't really found much, but little shards of bone and teeth. And uh, I just found this tortoise eroding out of the hill here. And I'm trying to decide whether it's worth collecting or not. I'm not sure looks like it's been busted in half. It's like you know, a lot of the, I don't know if it's carapace or plastron sticking up. I am not sure. Hard to say. It's not huge. Huh. Don't know whether it's worth saving or not. I may have to uh, have a chat with uh, some of the more senior members out here and see what they think. Okay, after consulting with my guests, we decided that I probably already have better specimens than this at home, and he certainly has better specimens than this. So we're just gonna leave it. I marked it with a cairn, and I will try to get back here at the end of the day if I have any boot bar glue left, and I'll coat it with boot bar glue to prevent it, hopefully, from further degrading too much, and maybe Somebody out here for their first time would like to dig it up. So, gonna leave this and look for something better. Well, it's getting on towards noon. Haven't found anything else interesting. Just been hiking around out here. Put a lot of miles on the old feet today. Tell you what, it's getting warm too. High temperature is only supposed to be close to 80 Fahrenheit out here, but there's not much wind today, and this stuff, some areas are as bright as new fallen snow. I'll tell you what, they reflect the sun right back up at you. It's, uh, it's hot. I'm getting to be a sweaty mess. You know, I'm going to be out here for another four or five hours probably. Just got to suck it up and keep looking. I'll probably take a break pretty soon for lunch. My wife's on the over on the other side of this ridge. When she's ready for lunch, we'll we'll meet in some central location and eat. And then get back at it. Well, look at this nice huge titanothere tooth that Leslie found. So one of us is having some good luck today anyway. Now, that's good. And who knows what else is there? Maybe there's jaw, maybe there's more teeth. There's she's, some bone there. Yeah, maybe there's jaw and more teeth. 
You're going to find out. So I've been uh, looking for fossils, not too far from where Leslie found that tooth here. And uh, I haven't found any fossils, but look at this cute little cactus. So tiny, so low to the ground. Look at the flowers on it and the berries. Cool. The plant life out here grows small and low to the ground to keep it out of the wind. Because usually the wind is howling. We could use a little of that wind today. It's hot. It's stifling here. Chunks off. So what you got here, Albert? It's what we tell. Cumulus or femur? That's a femur, probably. Femur. It's awful darn big. I would believe it's a femur. The longest femur in existence. It's a giraffe titanus here. Yeah. Well, it's usually those have a big a trench, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah. Handy to have in a wife. Mine can too. So this big thing is a titanothere femur. It's got some other bones too. Foot parts. Yeah, huge. Huge. Putting a plaster and burlap jacket on the bone to protect it, stabilize it, so we can get it out of here in one piece. Did Mike go to get the ATV? Maybe, I hear it. I hear it. If he can drive it to the end of this wash, he's a good man. Wow, he did it. Well, since we only have to carry it that far, I'll even help. <laughs> carry it up there? I don't know, you know. <laughs> It's wet, so it's not going to crack. You know, like usually we'll get like a crack. Right. There's a, wherever we didn't put a chisel, it's going to want to stick, but it'll it'll come apart, I think. Well, this we need to cut more with the heavy one. This side. Yep. It's sitting in the um, fractional stuff. The top was all clay. It's, it's wet, so it's not going to. Yep, it's wet. We're just not get that nice. Usually three or four chisels in and the whole thing kind of cracks loose. You're just not going to feel that with it being as wet as it is. Uh -oh. oh, it's moving. Yeah, the whole thing's moving. Yep, that's what I'm trying. I can't this side. It's easier. Unfortunately, we need something big we don't have. Something big to help flip it. Thankfully, we've got some garbage right there. Don't go, yeah, don't go, go beyond the line here. Yeah. I was thinking about our um, backs. Yeah. Uh, go go for work for it. nothing. Yeah. You're going to make the jacket weak if you get too far in there. Okay. Run that stuff in these holes you made.
So we managed to get Albert's jacketed Titanothere um, femur into the U-Haul trailer here so we can go back to Florida eventually. That was a chore, so I didn't get to film much of it because I was helping move the thing. <laughs> one of four men on each, one in each corner hauling this thing down to the ATV and then one person on each end steadying it as we drove it out on the ATV over some really rough country. And then four of us getting it into the truck, and then four of us getting it into this U-Haul after we got it back here. Whew, that thing, we estimate around 300 pounds jacketed. So, Albert, find some lighter stuff next time, will you? Jeez. Well, today was kind of a bust for me. I didn't even collect as much as yesterday, but I passed up a lot of stuff, too. I'd already gotten a lot of bone ends and copper lights, so I didn't pick up a lot more. Uh, lots of shards of rhino teeth. No whole ones, unfortunately. I was hoping to find a nice one like Leslie found, but no such luck. A little bit more Oriodont tooth here. And a big piece of turtle shell I picked up for no particular reason other than to throw it in the... Uh, in the box in the fossil room over here for educational purposes, so I'll do that. And, uh, well, that's about it for today. Don't know if we're going to be able to hunt tomorrow. The weather may not be good, so we'll see. But we'll get out back out there at least a few more times.